Hi everyone. Good morning, good evening, good night. So I found I, I hope I find you well to begin with this emotional week. Just to begin, we have to understand this idea that emotion means energy. And we usually relate emotion with the soul. And emotion and soul are exactly the same thing. So emotion is the energy that moves, that is positive and negative, that creates all the energy that makes us be what we are. And uh, the soul is the concept that, um, that holds within all this energy that made us be. So when we are talking about soul, we are talking about the registry, the records of everything that we are. What we um, usually say, what we usually talk is that um, the soul is the one that registry everything, all the information that we have. And this is because we all know that the energy is transforming constantly. It's, it's endless. So it goes through the time and space, changing its shapes and adapting to different bodies. Like from my body to a plant, to an animal, to another people and so on. So that allows us to live different lives in different times of history. And that's what we call that the soul has lived many lives. This is why the soul is like the, like the book where we uh, have written everything that we have, that, that we have been, that what we are and what we will become. So this is why also the soul is the one registering, re re uh, making the registry of all the data that we are taking from the relationships with others because the others are a different energy and with ours they match and discharge information. So um, we have to understand that the relationships we have with other people is exactly as if we put a neuron and another neuron and they make discharges of pulses of energy positive and, uh, and negative, and they create synapses. And by synapses, they create information. So they create a thought, an idea by that. So these pulses can be also known as soul. So this is why the soul is not just in the heart, it's in every part of our self, of our being, where the energy is pulsing. This is why we also call the soul like the key of life, because, um, because the soul, the energy, is these pulses of positive and negative that is constantly creating. So this is life. This is why we call the soul like the key of life. We have to understand that we have one soul, each one of us, but we also have another soul that is relating with a group of people. Then we have another one that relates with millions of beings. Then we have another one for the cosmos, okay? So we have mm, many souls and they are all part of the same one. So we can compare the soul like uh, our body. So we have one soul, but it's created with billions of um, cells. So imagine that you are a soul and each cell has another soul or is part of this soul. So that's why we are all the same. Hmm? So one of the things that we have to understand from the soul is that the soul is a perception, a projection from our idea. So everything that you may believe or think about what a soul is, like karma, dharma, the lives that you have lived, um, like another being with its own shape, um, the pacts that you have done in your soul, everything that you could possibly believe about a soul usually is just a projection from your human perspective of the energy. 
So it's your mind trying to shape the concept of how the energy moves so you could understand the you could understand the, the idea hmm? the idea of what it's a soul but going to the base of what is a soul we will find just energetical pulses but these pulses of energy are the ones that storage all the data and information and share all this information hmm? so that's why we know that the soul is recording all this information one of the other um, informations is that the energy, the soul, is positive and negative. So by polarity, it constantly creates energy. So that's why we relate the soul with, the, uh, with being uh, creative, artistic. So um, the energy, by being positive and, en and negative, they move like this, like in a spiral, constantly. So it also gives us the idea of transference, to transfer energy. And by this transferring of the energy, we understand the emotion, okay? Which is the relation with the other people, with other beings. So these uh, emotions are energetical pulses that allow us to transfer and to share information it's like if each one of us is a new neuron so everything that we share in this transference of energy is perceived by us as an emotion is perceived okay from our perspective and this is why all of the emotions are energy perceived by our point of view. And this is why if I can handle my own energies, my own emotions, I am not moved by the energies from the outside. When we achieve this, we accomplish to be in a neutral state. And this is the main goal why we need to find balance in our emotions. Sometimes we make a big mistake thinking that we have to control our emotions. What we have to do instead is to order the perception of the energy, our perception of the energy. So when I realize about my perception of an emotion, of an energy, I now know how to handle that energy or that emotion <clears throat> because of my perception of it. The energetical system is very easy to understand but difficult to handle because it's everywhere and you cannot uh, take all the energies. So talking about the uh, experiencing the, this, this perception, Let's talk, for example, about someone that makes us being uh, angry, okay? Something happened and makes us angry. You have to watch in that moment that the thing that happened, the fact, is not what makes us being angry. It's our perception of that situation, of that fact. So the same fact, for example, is... Um, is perceived by me like being angry but if you ask to another person maybe that same thing doesn't provoke that it, it creates another feeling because everything that happens and comes with energy is perceived and received by my own magnetical field and transformed into the level of my own magnetical field so I could understand it. So we can say that, uh, that uh, the energy is like languages and uh, the magnetical field is the, is the translator of that language. So this energy that comes to me will be perceived my, by my soul or my magnetical field 
according to the state of that magnetic field and translate it translate it into our uh, in, into its own um, uh, way of understanding okay so is the state of my soul that interpretates the emotion I don't have to judge the emotion what I have to do is to reorganize my magnetical field mm, do you get it <laughs> we used to complicate it very much because we are humans we as humans are uh, mm, poetic we are um, very creative um, very um, uh, expressive so we need to spread a thousands of ideas of how to understand emotions but it's very easy it's just positive and negative thinking this in this way uh, it makes it makes it feel very mental just with the mind but what helps us this is to understand the mechanism once I understand the map of this how it works this I can go into the practice which is just feeling just feeling it okay so if we have the map of this the idea the main idea of this then we just have to go and feel it we don't have to think much and this is what we are going to do this whole week so let's remember the keys of the map every emotion is just an energy which is positive and negative both of them are the polarity that creates energy this energy creates a energetical field that we energetically call that soul so the soul is taking as much as information as, I, as it can going into uh, different shapes transforming itself through different lives this is what makes that the soul is the eternal life hmm? when a soul meets another soul it's again like a positive and a negative so when both of them transmit energy it is called emotion but the information the emotion is captured by my magnetical field according to my level of vibration if I am positive or I am negative this makes that all the emotions are just a perception of my state of energy if I allow myself to balance the magnetical field I am able to receive and perceive the emotions in a neutral way if someone comes here and tries to make me angry I will catch the energy of the anger and make it into something constructive so this is taking your your own energy and and use it to your own benefit I guess that this is the most um, resume um, um, explanation of the system how it works if you don't get it right now just relax you have your time maybe listen it another time in another moment maybe from here in one year you will catch it no rush I know uh, some of you maybe are, are confused because I am speaking in two languages constantly but I would say that we need to use both sides of the brain this is also part of trying to catch the information behind the easiest way hmm? uh, I, I was just saying that uh, when I'm speaking in two languages and I'm doing these explanations, I, I sound like a like a kindergarten teacher, but <laughs> but I guess it's 
the normal when you try to explain into languages. Don't think I'm treating you like kids. Just I'm I'm trying to explain as as best as I can. Explained the basis of the information of these ten days. We will start to do the alignment. Okay, to do the alignment for today. Let's go to read the information of today. We are still in the first month of the year, which is related to the constellation of Leo, and we are uh, we are so in the expression of the I am related to the I can. The potential of the I am this month is I can. We are today entering into the second week of this month of three weeks related to 10 days of the emotional level. The vibration of the day is HA. So the sound HA means the H, HA means the history and the life itself. And the letter A, the sound A, means means the spirit the higher consciousness so the statement for today is i am the spiritual life so the code of the day the information we will have today is contemplation into the process of transcendence so it says looking again to its future its present and its past without any judgment without any intentions, allowing itself to love everything that was, is, and will be, taking everything, uh, turn it into neutrality, where, loves, uh, where uh, loves everything that it is through time and space, unconditionally. So this means that uh, the universe itself, in the moment of transcendence, when it starts to contemplate everything that in the history and in shapes it used to be and suddenly it just accepts everything as it is. So unconditionally it loves everything that it created, that it is. I am the spiritual life. So today what we are going to do is to balance this energy of the soul in the crown. So remember that our goal is to reach the coherence. So in order to do so, in the emotional level, what we have to do is to balance the magnetical field of ourselves hmm? so we could be in balance, in harmony with our own emotions. So I'm going to set the music and Let's get comfortable. Let's go to that. Look for a comfortable position. What we are going to do is to very soft to touch and caress the body, each part of your body, feeling the energy all around. The idea of this carries this very soft is to let the nervous system nervous system of our body that we are going to work with the energy I start to concentrate in my breathing as I softly caress every part of my body
I let, I let the weight of my shoulders, my arms, my hands let fall down. I take a deep breath and now every time I exhale I will do it through the mouth but very soft like pronouncing the sound <sighs> feeling the hot of the air coming out Breathe in, hold the air, and breathe out very soft through the mouth. As I keep breathing this way, I go with the oxygen through every one of my organs, muscles, all my blood, and my neural system. Every nervous. I become aware of each part of my body, my skin. Breathe in by the nose, breathe out softly by the mouth. I become aware of all the hot parts of my body, where I feel the most hot, no judgment. It can be many parts of the body. I become aware that this energy, this heat, emanates the energy that I call the aura. Take a deep breath and allow yourself to perceive the colors that comes to your mind, no judgment. Always breathing by the nose exhaling softly by the mouth. I become aware of the color that I see the most the one that is surrounding the biggest part of my body. I recognize right now the biggest emotion that I have today in my body. Without any judgment, I allow myself to feel it, not to think it, not to think about it, just feel it. Maybe it's just the void Maybe it's rage, 
no judgment. I take this emotion and this color into the palms of my hands breathe in exhale I recognize this emotion without judgments I realize that this is the energy that my higher self has chosen for me today to activate the engine of my being. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath and bring this emotion to my crown. I feel this emotion and color as a circle surrounding a dot. As a wheel. This energy is the one that makes me feel the point of view of today. How I perceive everything today. Now try to think about your whole day, what you have done in all this day. Try to think about how you perceived and lived this day, which emotions which facts have you lived today? Don't think much, just allow the images come through you. Go with your mind along this whole day you had. and try to think, to perceive how you felt, everything you lived. Try to feel the emotions that you felt in every situation and which is the emotion, the feeling that is common to all of them. Take a deep breath. I recognize that, that this is the emotion that made me perceive the world today and I accept that emotion. And now I'm going to use this emotion. Take a deep breath. With my imagination, I start to make spin this wheel that I have around my chakra. This energy is the emotion that makes me perceive the world today. So I am starting 
to activate the engine of this wheel faster and faster with my vibration of today. Ha. Breathe in. As I pronounce this vibration, I start to recognize that I can activate my own life. I can be my own spiritual life. I can, I can, I can. I feel, as I pronounce the, 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 my vibration, how this chakra starts to enlighten as the wheel spins faster and faster. I feel my crown chakra irradiate. I feel my chakra expanding, absorbing the energy of this emotional wheel. This emotion is the fuel for this potential. And so I activate my, my potential. I am spiritual life. I am spiritual life. I am spiritual life. Take a deep breath and with my hands I take the energy of this chakra, expanding it all around my magnetical field towards the ground below my feet. As I connect my whole field from my crown, I recognize I am the spiritual life. Softly, I take my hands to my heart. Breathe in and breathe out softly by the mouth. Relax my body and very softly I begin start to carry my body from the chest towards all the directions of my body. Coming back here and now opening my eyes so I just recognize that it doesn't matter which emotion I felt in the day, I use it as fuel. Hmm? So um, if you feel um, something, um, something moving, like or, or like if you are um, fading or um, nauseous or whatever, just try to walk a little bit barefoot. Uh, if it's possible on the soil and the grass and rest a lot because remember that we are downloading new information into the body so the body needs to rest a lot to assimilate it well, thank you for being here for following this path and See you tomorrow at the same time. Thank you. See you tomorrow.